Sonya has not been the most accepting of it. Excuse my parents. I did not intend to be on camera. But <laughs> since he brought my name into this, let me just explain. Tree Troopers, what's up? I'm Dakota Staples of Staples Intense, and today I want to talk to you all about a possible glamping hack that can go a long way with your home um, in the event that you're not able to use your air condition for whatever reasons. In an emergency kit, there are a number of things that you should have, and one of the highest recommended things is a Mylar blanket. Uh, you can use this to help keep you warm, um, as well as corral heat um, around a fire or in your sleeping bag or inside your tent. Now we didn't have a lot of these and when we've been camping we've been able to lose heat from heating our tent and I was thinking that this might be a useful product in creating a mylar uh, inside of the tent to help reflect some of the heat. Thereby keeping the tent warmer and using less propane. Well once coronavirus started, Sonya and I ended up in a predicament with our air conditioning in our home. We have a lot of windows, and with a lot of windows means a lot of sunlight. And the sunlight would normally heat our temperatures up enough that we would have to service the air conditions at least once a year. And that can be pretty expensive. So right now we're trying to keep people from coming in and out of our house unnecessarily. So if we can keep the HVAC guy from having to come in to service our air condition, then we've reduced um, exposing ourselves to coronavirus and also protecting the HVAC guy from being exposed to coronavirus. We are socially distancing and protecting each other. So how can this help you? In the same instance, um, if you find yourself in a situation um, where you're trying to reduce either your energy bill or trying to keep your air condition from being used, you could possibly use a Mylar blanket. Now, these things are probably around a dollar or so each. Um, I bought these from sciencepurchase.com. Um, it is a full Mylar rescue blanket. And essentially, Mylar is um, aluminized polyethylene or aluminized plastic. It's very flimsy, but it's also very strong. Um, and what we're gonna do today is cut these out to the dimensions of our windows um, and then go through and hang it. I'll show you what it looks like because uh, I think it's important to uh, get the cuts within reason so that you can maximize the overall efficiencies that this will have. The efficiencies of a Mylar blanket are that they will reflect all of the sunlight, like 97% of the sunlight, back out, thereby keeping sun from coming inside of your home and heating it up. Um, now, the byproduct that it is, you will be in a darker environment, uh, and it is noticeable. So we've been running Mylar on our windows for probably about a month now, trying to determine whether or not it was affecting how often our air conditioning was running, and the answer is, Yes, it ran a lot less, meaning we will have a, should have a reduced um, electric bill once it comes in. Um, another benefit of using Mylar, obviously, is to retain heat. So in the winter, um, this should reduce the energy bill, if we were going to use it then. Um, this should reduce the energy bill because it will also contain the heat, and that, we think, is also a useful product. So a $1 product might end up saving you greater than 50, 60% on your heating bill. So we're gonna give this a try. We're gonna run it for a few months and we'll let you know the results. If you would like to go ahead and purchase it, we've put this on, we'll put this link um, in the comment section and you can click on this link um, and go and buy it. If you want to support our store. If you are a frequent Amazon shopper and would like to support us, feel free to click on the link below so that we can get just a small commission from your purchases. And we'll use this to help continue to create more content and go on amazing adventures. 
after coronavirus, of course. <laughs> Thank you for your support. So it's a pretty cool science project. You can do it with your kids. There's not a lot that you need. Clearly, the Mylar, some masking tape, and we're using uh, masking tape because this is temporary for us, um, and we want to be able to remove it and not mess up the paint or anything else. So we'll be using masking tape, scissors, and a tape measure, as well as a marker so that you can mark um, your cuts for the dimensions of whatever your windows are. So that's really it. Let's get into it and cut a little bit and show you what it looks like. As with all measurements, one of the biggest things that you will learn is you want to measure twice if you want to cut once. So do your measurement, uh, make sure you got it, write it down, then go back and measure it again. What kind of projects are you doing at your house that can help keep you from having to bring people in, that can also reduce energy consumption? Leave it in the comments, let us know. Once you've made your cuts, you know your dimensions, it's time to hang it. There's only one thing that you really want to do is make sure that the shiny side of the mylar is facing out. Um, it's really sort of difficult to see it when you're doing it, but trust me, it's one side more shiny than the other. After that, grab your tape and start the whole process of taping it to the window sill. Okay, so this is cut two. And what you see is I've essentially cut enough of the mylar away that it could fit within the frame of the window. One of the cons of using this mylar is at night, you're essentially not gonna be able to see out your windows because it's essentially reflecting the light inside. So that's something that you gotta really figure out whether or not you're gonna be okay living with because you're not looking out that window at night. So, so there you have it. A really cheap, energy efficient way to reduce overall costs for energy as well as the wear and tear on your air conditioning unit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up taping these windows. I can't be messing around with you all day. Sonya wants this done by nightfall. We have a certain inclination for all things science. I was very excited to come up with this kind of concept and Sonya was okay with it. However, she was not okay with my aesthetic. So I had told her what I wanted to do was to put some of this up just to see proof of concept how it would overall benefit or work for us. So what you're seeing right now is the first cut. Uh, this is the Mylar blankets that have been pretty much stretched all the way out and they cover the overall window. And that was just so we could get an idea of uh, how much sunlight was being reflected and refracted into the house and whether or not we could live with it. Sonia has not been the most accepting of it. Excuse my parents, I did not intend to be on camera. <laughs> but <laughs> since he brought my name into this, let me just explain. Like Nakota said, we're both scientists. but. I'm a little more concerned about um, perception, which is huge that I'm in here with my slap cap on. <laughs> perception. <laughs> this is the reality, y'all. <laughs> this is, cor this Cor is what? coronavirus every day. My coronavirus score today is like a two. Right, right, right. <laughs> I got out of bed. I... And I got dressed. Right. right. So, nonetheless, I felt like with the proof of concept that... I, we were walking around. We looked like we had a t aluminum foil hat on. Yeah. This did. looks like an aluminum foil hat. And I was like, look, dude, if you're going to do it, you have to make it look better. Because what you got going on right here, one, we're stuck in the house. Two, this makes me feel like it's the end of the world with my large tape to the window. <laughs> no. So three, I was like, if you want to do it, you got to make it look better. So... <laughs> So, as a scientist, <laughs> you're not necessarily concerned, it's certainly as a man, with aesthetic. You know, it's like, does it work? Yes. Cool. I was perfectly fine leaving it like this. However, we did have a lot of our friends looking at it like, what in the hell? Where? Do y'all have a boomer yeah. for a hat to your whole house? So, <laughs> I was like, okay, clearly, 
I need to go ahead and get my arms around this and try to make it look a little better. So this is first wave. I'm going to show you what second wave looks like and then the final cut, which is really we just essentially um, did an exact cut as close to the windows as possible. Um, at the end of it, we needed to be able to let the windows up and down and um, also make it look better than it did. Now, I'm not a window tinter, so I'm not trying to do it. And it could be that there's a mylar out there that you could get that is tint. I don't know. If it is, go ahead and get it. Whatever works for you. Um, what I wanted to do was just figure out how I could do this very effectively under $60. So I probably have enough to do this like 20 more times if I wanted to. So I would say probably $30. Just look at whatever the dimensions of the blanket is, figure out how big your windows are, and then go to cut. Um, buy a little bit extra in case you make some mistakes. Mistakes are always made and leave yourself the grace to know that it's possibly temporary, but if you like it, it's something that you can look at later bringing some people in to do it for real. Because there is a, you can't buy an all our tent. Um, it's just, I'm trying to help you figure out how you can do it cheaper. I'd like to give a special shout out to Sasquatch264. That's you, Jason. Uh, thank you for helping set up our Amazon store. We really appreciate you taking the time and also for the support that you all, you and your wife, have been giving us for a very long time.